Hey everyone, so here's a question from Rachel Lumbus and this type of questions are really important. So the number can change but the type of question is really important here. The question here is find 5 rational numbers between minus 1 by 3 and 1 by 3. So we have to find out rational numbers between these two given numbers. Remember there are infinitely many rational numbers between a two rational numbers. So or two numbers we can say but how to find out them. So if I take minus 1 by 3 and if I'll take 1 by 3 here, let's find out how many numbers we can just find from here. So after minus 1, we'll get 0. So it's 0, 1, 0 by 3 and then directly we have 1 by 3. So you can see only one number we could able to find out in this way, right? This means that we have to use some other method to find out more rational numbers between these two. But how to do that? So instead of taking minus 1 by 3 and 1 minus 1 by 3 and 1 by 3, what we're going to do here is we're going to find out equivalent rational number of minus 1 by 3 and 1 by 3. Equivalent means it's equal to this number but it will look different but it is equivalent to this. So you might have learned that we can find equivalent rational numbers either by multiplying or dividing the numerator and denominator by same number. So here I'm going to do the same thing. So first I'm going to take minus 1 by 3. Now, so here, now one more thing, uh, you might have seen that in few questions we have to take LCM. Why we're taking LCM? To make sure that denominators are same. Here only denominators are 3, so we don't have to take LCM, we don't have to make it same. It's already the R3, so we don't have to do anything. Now, I'm going to find out equivalent rational number for minus 1 by 3. Now you can multiply with any number. So the greater the number you take, the greater gap you will get. The more gap you will get, so more rational numbers you can pick from them. So uh, here they are asking us to find out phi, right? So I'm going to take a number more than phi, a greater than phi. Don't take phi or less than that because a gap will not be a much and it's difficult to find out the numbers. So I'm going to take a number 10. Now I have seen in the comments that why we are taking 10. So it's not necessary 10. I am taking 10 because it's easy to multiply. You can take any other number. It's completely on you. Make sure that multiplication is easier. Alright. So I'm going to multiply here with 10. So minus 1 by 3. I'm multiplying with the 10 in the numerator and in denominator. So this will gonna give us minus 10 by 30. This is first number. Second number is 1 by 3. Again, I have to multiply with the 10. Why again with the 10? Because denominators has to be same here. If I take some other number, denominator will not be same and we cannot find out. So this is 10 by 30. So you can see 30 we have in the denominator. Now we can see that between minus 10 and 10 we have many numbers, right? Minus 9 by 30, minus 8 by 30, so on up to 9 by 30. So from there we can take any 5 rational numbers and we can write down the answer. So let's conclude this. Therefore, 5 rational number between minus 1 by 3 and 1 by 3 are now you can take any 5 so it's like don't take minus 10 by 30 and don't take 10 by 30 don't include them you can pick any numbers between so minus 10 after that will get minus 9 so minus 9 by 30 then minus 8 by 30 so on up to you can take till 9 by 30 right so I'm gonna take here minus 9 by 30 minus 8 by 30 minus 7 by 30 let me take some positive numbers also I'll write down 1 by 30 and the last one is 0 by 30 anything you can take here I'm taking 2 by 30 so that's it uh, so this way we can find out the rational numbers between a given two rational number I hope this question is clear in case you have a question or doubt you can drop a comment below thank you so much for watching